Hello everyone, welcome to Automation Community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example in which we will implement latching. So let's start. If switch 1 is on, then motor 1, motor 2, motor 3 and motor 4 will be on. If switch 1 is off, then motor 1, motor 2, motor 3 and motor 4 will be still on. So for switch 1, we will use normally open contact. And then to keep the motors on, either if switch 1 is off, we will, use, we will implement latching. And for that we will use a memory bit also. Then only when switch 1 is turned on, then motors will be on and then when it is turned off, motors will remain on. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram and do the simulation also. So this is the interface of TI portal. I will click here and then I will go to PLC tags and then default tag table. So here we need to add the tags for inputs and outputs. So here we have one switch. So I will write switch one and then I have we have four motors. So I will write motor one and I will change the address to Q0.0 as it is an output so it will be Q0.0 and then I need to add motor 2 then motor 3 then motor 4. So all the inputs and outputs are being inserted here so I will minimize this and then I will go to program blocks and then main ob1. So here we will be drawing ladder diagram. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact and a coil. This normally open contact will be switch one and this coil will be memory bit. So I will assign address to it as M0.0. And then I will use this M0.0 here as normally open contact M0.0 to turn on the motor. So here I will insert coils. So coil one, then open branch, I will open the branch here, then one more coil, then once more I will open the branch, then coil, open the branch, shift F8, then a coil. So these will be motors, motor 1, then motor 2, then motor 3 then motor 4 so when switch 1 is turned on m0.0 gets through and when it is true motor 1 motor 2 motor 3 and motor 4 turns on but when switch 1 is turned off m0.0 gets off and as a result motor also gets off but motor should be on when switch 1 is turned on so here we will implement latching i will open the branch here then and normally open contact and close so i will assign address to this normally open contact same as this tag one that is m0.0 so we have latched m0.0 so when switch one is turned on m0.0 gets through and when it gets through motors turn on and when switch one is turned off m0.0 still remains on due to latching and as a result motors also remain on so i will Start the simulator here. Let's wait for some time. After that, I will start CPU. And then I will start monitoring on and off. And then I will switch to project view.
I will create a new project here. Create. And let's wait for some time more. And then I will go to simulation tables and simulation table 1. And then we need to export. I will load project tags here. And then all the tags are being imported here. And then we can do the simulation. So when I turn on switch 1, M0.0 .0 gets true. And as a result, when M0.0 .0 gets true, the current will flow through it. And motor 1, 2, 3, and motor 4 turns on and then <laughs> when I turn off switch 1 M0.0 .0 still remains on switch 1 is turned off the current will not flow through it but the current will flow through it because M0.0 .0 was true and it is true here the current flows through it as a result, result M0.0 .0 still remains true and when M0.0 .0 is true, motor 1, motor 2, motor 3 also remains true. You can also see here, this motor 1 is true, motor 2 is true, motor 3 is true, and motor 4 is also true. And this tag 1 that is M0.0 .0, is also true due to latching. And which in turn turns all the three motors to remain on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.